everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today we are returning to places you've seen in your dreams. A liminal space map that I previously explored all the way back in like January or February or something. And I heard that fairly shortly after I played it, it actually got updated. And I've been putting it off, but I think now would be a good time to do it. I've had a few more conversations about liminal spaces since then, and I wonder if I might have more to bring to the discussion. And I gotta tell you, I, I just have a real interest in re-exploring dreamlike maps that have been updated, and here's why. Going off of my experience from previous maps that I had re-explored, such as GM Liminal Space, I, I feel like returning to these environments actually feels like a virtual version of the Bernard's Door phenomenon. Which, for those who don't know, it's a concept in dreaming in which the dreamer dreams that they've returned to some sentimental place, some place from memory, usually a childhood home or something like that. Only something's different. There will be a room or a door that wasn't there before, that doesn't exist in real life. Only they'll feel that it's always been there, that they've always known about it, and that they have to investigate. That's kind of the feeling that I get from revisiting maps that have been updated, because looking at this place, this area all feels very familiar to me. And I, I sort of have an idea still of how it's laid out, but it's going to throw me curveballs. If there's different things here, things will have been moved around, things will have been added, maybe some things will have been removed, and so there will be times where I'll be in a space that I recognize, that I know the layout of, but there will be a door that I haven't seen before. Or a door that I have seen before will go to someplace different. And I'm really curious to know how that'll feel. Now, speaking of changes, something I noticed on the way up here... Were these sounds playing before? It almost feels like muffled, slowed down mall ambiance. I don't know about you, for me, in dreams, sounds always have that sort of crowded feel, but they kind of feel like they're drowned by like the sound of rushing water or something. A sound which usually grows more intense the longer it goes on, and more importantly, the more scared I get. I, I was just recently having a conversation with someone about the nature of liminal spaces, and we noted, as I did in the previous version of this video, that so much of it seems to center around things that a kid might dream about. Uh, most notably, these sort of 90s children's play spaces like you might see in a McDonald's or a mall. And we got to talking about how the concept of liminality might actually appear different depending on the age group of the person. So while something like this might resonate with, like, the 20s and 30s crowd, younger kids might actually have a completely different idea of what liminality is. Or even people from different countries might have a different idea, because a, a big part of it is rooted in nostalgia. In seeing what seems to be a representation of your own distant memories. I believe we saw all this last time, yeah. Uh, this is the place that sort of reminded me of, like, the children's party area in a movie theater. I am going to link the original video on this map in the description. I I'm not going to talk too much about each area. I am mostly here to see what's different. But if you want to hear my take on this the first time through, uh, like I said, that link will be in the description. And my voice is feeling a little bit hoarse today. Now, a, a big part of this is going to be me going off of memory. I think the comfort that I feel from this, well, we'll just call this whole experience a dream, is going to come from finding areas that are familiar to me, 
And the discomfort is going to come from finding areas that absolutely are not. Now I do remember that there's a little hidden door right here. And through these boxes, which we just push them out of the way. Ah, oh, they're not disappearing like last time. And there's our flashlight bug, because I tried picking up an object while we were headed out. Yeah. Now this is a little bit creepy, but if worse came to worse, this would be a good little place to hole up, wouldn't it? If it were to turn out that we really weren't alone in these... Well, I guess you could almost call them the back rooms without the back rooms, right? See, the cool thing to me about these liminal space maps is that there's now many maps on the workshop that are essentially just collections of classic liminal space images. And yet somehow, I find that they still also tend to have their own feelings to them. I mean, for example, I just got done exploring a Liminal Gallery 2, which was a really fun and interesting map, but I guess if I were to come up with an analogy for this, I would say that if Liminal Gallery is Twin Peaks, this map is Inland Empire. It just feels a lot denser and heavier and more foreboding. And that's not a criticism of Liminal Gallery, that's just me pointing out that there are differences in the feeling between the two. Okay. Now I seem to remember paths kind of diverge here. Alright, this is the same as before, which means that if we go through here, we should be able to make our way to a place with a slide. Well, there's the slide coming off of the abandoned store. Is this always here? I'm finding everything different is in the sounds, mostly. But no, that's not entirely true because I don't know if this hallway was here before. You heard that, right? This is new. This is very new. This is very new and strangely inviting. Down we go. Huh. I guess in dreams, water works like in Minecraft. Any amount is enough to break your fall. But where? I almost just got... I just got jump-scared by that garbage can. I thought it was someone looking in. It's like a little train station, but looking into a weird pool room. Only even weirder, because... Imagine a pool with fabric for the lining. I didn't expect to get into entirely new areas so quickly. What is all this? It's like part subway, part pools? Of course, I have to check the water to see if there's any compartments hidden beneath. Am I playing Stalker? Have I just found the Oasis? This is actually a strangely pretty little room. We can probably jump through here, but... Which way do I go first? I probably won't be needing the flashlight for right now. Offices.
You know what? Actually, I'm not sure if I've ever commented on this before. What is it about these types of blinds at night that's so eerie? It's like even when they're completely closed, you can just tell. I guess it's like a lack of light bleed? Where you can just tell it is dark beyond these blinds. And for some reason, I always find that really unnerving. Maybe it's because you don't usually see them in residential, and so it's just an image I associate with being in, like, a business or a library or a school after dark. Maybe it's an image that isn't creepy on its own, but is often attached to other creepy images. Maddie, if you can read this run, they followed us here. Only way out was the way we came. Thousands of them now. I love you, Dean. Uh, well, I don't know what way you came, but the way I came uh, was a pretty long drop, so I don't think I can follow that advice. I'm just going to assume that there's nothing down here, and that uh, that's a Left 4 Dead 2 asset. So I'm strongly hoping that's the case. Can we get out here? Oh, we can. And a walled-off children's play area. The green carpet almost mimicking grass? Yet in front of a glass window onto a dark night outside. All with the uncomfortable ambiance of a cavernous subway station. Almost like kids would play here as an exhibit. Horror baby? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to be doing too much jumping and opening doors to carry you with me, but... Uh, I can at least... I can at least upgrade your accommodations, come on. I would definitely carry stuff with me a lot more often if it wasn't so difficult in Gary's Mod. Uh, here. Uh... <laughs> uh ain't my problem the physics are broken here. Oh, I love the soundscape. Three different ways I can go first. And I think I, I, I think I would like to see where that tree room goes. But yeah, these soundscapes, they remind me exactly of the things that I hear in dreams. Yep. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's much, much deeper than I expected. I expected it to be like ankle deep. And what is that beneath the surface? A bench. It's almost like this whole thing is like a flooded park. Like something has scooped up just a little piece and placed it in here for some reason. Come on. Off we go. <gasps> hey, what was that? Come on, come on. Oh. Wow. As if it couldn't get any worse. It's like someone's taken Liminal Hotel and flooded that courtyard. And to me, it's one of the most interesting pieces of architecture out there. A sort of faux courtyard indoors, and a ceiling over it. Uh, only now, someone's made the fountain version. Look, there's even water flowing down through there. Well, this is neat. Anything if we go bobbing for Easter eggs? No? Okay, fine by me. And it's also kind of amazing how certain liminal space images have become... 
I guess so present culturally that I can look at this that doesn't really share any of the same textures, just the same vague shape, and I can immediately tell what it's drawing inspiration from. Alright, this way is up next, even though... I gotta say, this whole area, more than any other so far, is really giving me the creeps. I think the only thing I can do is hold it at a slightly lower angle. Yet yeah, once you get the splashlight bug, really the only way to fix it is to die and respawn. But I don't want to lose my place. Oh, there's just something so creepy about silently navigating hallways with this grandma's house wallpaper. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. No, 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 I gotta crouch down more so I can move more. I just heard something. If the creator added jump scares to this map, I keep thinking I hear footsteps. Oh, great, something drops down from here. And I drop down from here. Imagine if this just deposited me back in that drop behind me. Oh! Whew, I forgot, this is VR and I actually have to feel that. Whew. Uh, that was exciting. I've been deposited in this little trough like sewage. Which is how I feel most days. This is different. What is it about a set of white walls, white light pouring in through the windows with no detail beyond and no sound other than my own footsteps that's so calming? Oh yeah, not to mention the hendicad style grass floor, that's also a thing. But this kind of feels like if I were to step down into it, something might happen. Well, I guess I'm okay. Can I walk out through this door into the white? I can't. Should I not have done that? I bet this leads back down to where we were before. I just heard a footstep. I know I did. I know I did. I heard something. God, I am so jumpy right now. I don't even know if the things I'm hearing are in-game anymore. This is weird. The urge to take off my headset is strong. H have we seen this before? I don't think we can open this. I'm, 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 I'm going to go back. This red fog actually acts as illumination, leaving a sea of dark silhouettes as the tree trunks. Uh, what happens if we try going back through here? Back through the same door. Can we open this one? No. Alright, so... Then that means that through here is our only move.
I'm just hoping that you drop down to where we just were. Yep, looks like it. Okay, great. Imagine, though... Imagine, though, if that dropped down to here, I said, Okay, great, we're in the room we just were. Only things were different when we came back. Finally, it's time to duck the shutter door. It's like a living room that's entirely too big. <laughs> I turned around and saw those benches over there. Almost looked like two spindly legs coming from under the door. I hear that? Despite being an indoor space, there's a wind sound playing throughout. And this is- oh no, that's water! But it looks to be only ankle deep. Although that could change on a dime. Uh, before we look at that... Uh, same sound I've heard a million times before and it's still got me. Uh, let's just take inventory of where we can go. We can go that way, we can go through here. I think that was supposed to fool me, maybe. Fool me into continuing on through to another teleport. Jonathan... Something will kill them until they get me. I do not like darkened parking garages. Oh, this is horrible. I, I came here expecting like a few new rooms. No, there's a lot of new stuff and it's almost all I've seen. But I was kind of right. The creepy factor is definitely enhanced. Having started in what felt so familiar. I didn't expect to be able to be this on edge on this map. I thought I knew what I was getting into. Oh wait, is this grandma's house? Wait, I think this is familiar. I, I know this, I know this, I know this. But only up here is Grandma's house, down here is the Haunted Mansion. Yes, 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 yes! Okay, uh, I'm starting to... maybe, perhaps, gain some idea of where I am. Maybe I can make sense of this yet. Come on. Yes. All of this connects. Huh. Oddly enough, this window is like a view looking out onto traffic. Of course, it is a little more than a poster. Now, this has the effect, and I don't remember if it was the creator of this map or another one who said that it's intentional sometimes, where... When you have spaces in a map where some of them seem to be emulating daylight, while others the night? It makes it feel like you've been in this area for so much longer. It makes it feel like you've just been endlessly wandering these halls. Now I think, if I'm remembering rightly, one of these should be the room with the mirror that scared the absolute bejeebs out of me. Yep, there we are. Howdy. Yeah, didn't get me this time. And what was in here? Ah, yes. The weird, like, sideways... <laughs> not even sideways, just weirdly shaped room. No time for this right now. I think I'm gonna head back upstairs. Uh, 
Uh, we'll go this way. Howdy. <gasps> Have you ever been startled by the sheer scale of something? Oh, wow. It's like twisted branches forming an arch over a trail. Through the gaps, I can just barely see a forested, overgrown field beyond. Branches all dead like it's the middle of fall. Maybe even later winter. This feels like the kind of dream where I have no choice but to move towards what I know is a horrible fate. This place actually just feels like sadness so far. Sadness and serial killers. Never mind, I rescind my previous statement. We've wandered into the final act of a Saw film. What is that through there? That looks like the lower levels of like a bounce house or something. But what is that green light? Is that just the ceiling or is this a tank filled with some green fluid? There's definitely a lot of detail to it. There must be some way to get over there. This really feels like someone spent a lot of time here... waiting. Maybe waiting for nothing specific at all. It's like being in a nuclear cooling tower or something. Only from the look of it, and it is kind of hard to tell from this perspective, it sort of looks like there might be a walkway around the top. I wonder if that's something that we'll get to see later. Oh. This carpet just rolling, bounding over itself. Reminds me of those dreams where I can't get my footing. I try to walk on some surface and it's constantly depressing under my feet, making me lose my balance, occasionally bouncing up so that I fly in the air a few feet. Eh, I've never heard anybody else talk about that, but it might just be a me thing. Eh. At least we've got a nice little fort here. Even comes with room for two. There's just something about a closet with a high ceiling. Not appreciating the silence right now. The feeling of anticipation that I'm getting from these couches. Let's try this other door first. We can't open it. <laughs> and I must say, not being able to open it, these red and yellow hazard colors, makes me feel like something comes out of there and chases me when I walk down this way. Oh, never mind that. I just left my glitched flashlight on the ground. There we go. Well, I guess let's climb that ladder. 
Come on. Come on, no. Uh, open up. All right, job for no clip. I'm not sure if I was supposed to be able to, oh. Whoa. It's right in the middle of like another children's play area. Yeah, I think uh, something in VR is not working right where it wants to attach me to the ladder at the top point and that's why I can't play with it. Or maybe I'm not supposed to be able to go through there at all. Maybe I'm only supposed to be able to come up and look. Uh, in which case, whoops, but I was kind of at a dead end. And this... That looks like the glowing light of interactability. And there's another trend in liminal space images. Children's amusement park areas in the dark, illuminated only by a flash. It, it, it's just hard to imagine all of it just sitting here silently in the dark when everything closes at night. I gotta say, though, seeing these colors in these configurations uh, really itches something in the back of my brain. Real deep programming on the part of me that's wired to be excited at the sight of this stuff. It's almost giving me feelings of... Uh, okay, so you know when... You know in gym class when they bring out the parachute? When you look over towards the storage room and the gym teacher is walking out, you see them just pulling the end of it, and immediately it's like the greatest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Oh, we have a ball pit. A ball pit whose lumps make me wonder what's hidden within. And I don't like those stains on the side. Oh, and it's also no collide. So, being waist deep. Oh! <laughs> So that's where my friend Tommy went. And immediately with the horror ambiance, oh, this is a childhood nightmare and a half that just came true right before my eyes and right before my stomach. Well, you're gonna have to go first. No, you don't move. Ah, oh, there's even more blood. Wait, I'm right back here. I'm right back here. Having gone through all of that and then coming back to this place, the one that I remember most from the first time I played it, it, it almost feels like waking up from a dream within a dream. Uh, do you ever have one of those dreams? The kind where you're in it for what feels like so long, it feels like you've lived almost an entire lifetime, and then you have a false awakening within that dream? It's so disorienting, especially when you, by the time you actually wake up, you're almost skeptical of your own consciousness. But I'll tell you what, now that we're here... I think I know how to get back to where I'm going. We gotta start this way. This is that alley. Right? And I'm, I'm gonna eventually go down all these sideways, but... I'm pretty sure I know how to... I keep thinking I hear things, and I can't... Everything has been... Everything I've been hearing has been in such a way that I can't be sure if it's really in-game or not. And that's really disconcerting. I don't remember this from before. I don't know if it's new or not. That's a maze of pipes.
Okay, yes, this is actually where I wanted to end up. I remember this kitchen from before. Goes into the fast food restaurant. Goes into Salty's. Can't open this. But if we go this way, we should get back into the house. Yes! And now we can make our way back to that teleport. See, this is exactly what I was hoping for from this map. It's the kind of thing where I have a vague mental map of how it all connects because I've been here before, but so much is different that I can't fully trust that instinct. And it creates this unnerving feeling of familiarity, but not. That I'm in some place familiar yet hostile. Oops, I accidentally teleported twice. There we go. All right, we are back here. And just like I told my neighbor when he had the ball pit, I am not falling for that again. Now, let's see. Uh, we can duck under that door. Oh, look at this. It's like a dining area where the parents would watch their kids play, but look at the size of those windows looking out onto a black night. The shutters of the serving area all closed. That was when you knew that it was really over for the day. But we never actually did check out that box. Can we actually restore power to this room? Oh, and look at this. Uh, this is actually a very important detail, and a lot of children's play places have this. Those, like, warehouse ceilings where you can see the metal trusses and the exposed insulation. I mean, all these kids' play areas were, were just some cheap mats assembled in a warehouse, but... I don't know, they felt so fun until you looked up. It, it kind of took you out of the magic and reminded you of, cynically, what it really is. Okay, that didn't turn on the lights like I expected. All I heard was like a, like a grinding noise. If I release something and... What is that stain? I kind of thought that might have opened you. Or you. So what did it do? Can I maybe try pressing it again? No. Okay, color me confused, and wait, let's not forget about this. Okay, this is either a childhood nightmare or a fantasy, depending on how you look at it. Nightmare, somebody living under the play place. Fantasy, it's me. I'm living under the play place. Alright, I guess there's nowhere for us to go but to duck under that door. I've been really lazy with the ducking in this episode. I'm just kind of leaning down rather than actually crouching. There's something about stairs without a railing that really makes a place feel unfinished. Like you're not supposed to be here. Part of it, I think, is that lack of safety, the watch your step instinct kicking in. But also, it's like a special kind of bareness that I think goes even a little bit farther than just, you know, not having any furniture in a place. I'm assuming that this is a teleport that drops down here. You heard that, right? Hang on, no, I'm actually, I'm actually breaking right now. I'm actually breaking and taking off the headset to look around my room. 
God, I'm pretty sure that's the same, like, uh, whimpering sound effect that we've heard a million times before, but it's still, after... Uh, this this map has gotten me in such a mood. Oh, it's so bright, so sterile. It's like things are falling apart at the end of time. Hello. No, I would not like to play a game. Oh, imagine the neck strain lying on this. You'd have to tilt your neck to look up at the screen. Also, stupid thing doesn't even have a tower attached. But yeah, there's another teleport. Wow, these new areas sure do like dropping us into areas on the other side of the map. I'm too jumpy. I could have sworn I saw, like, a shadow walking down the stairs just there. Oh, that teleports us back to here. I may have to do some no-clipping. And there's our voice in the vent again. Heard you last time. Nothing new here. Yeah, I'm just kind of moving around trying to see if there's anything new in the areas that I already knew about. I really don't like the admittance buzzer echoing through this empty restaurant. Ugh! <laughs> Oh, you got all offended that I wasn't got by the same mirror that got me last time. Oh, I don't even remember if that was here before. I, I know this restaurant was here. I don't remember if the mirror was. Little karaoke stage in the back. That reminds me of the... of the... auditorium. Not auditorium, but you know what I mean. My mom's old work. Now this, I think, might be new. Now what is this? Like some kind of cursed urinal where the trough is on the floor? Leave now, they keep coming, no way to get back. Well, I've never seen this they, but at this point I'd almost welcome it. Teleport. Oh. Wait. Hang on, that's kind of a weird image. Darkness through here, but... Daylight over here. Actually, have we yet seen an exterior daylight on this map? It looks very familiar, though. Yeah, I recognize that tower! Yes, 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 yes! No, this was here before! This was here! I don't know if that was, but... But this existed. I don't remember where it leads, though. I remember these doors. Don't remember where they lead. Oh, yeah. And we had to... We had to crowbar our way through this. I, I may not go through there yet. I remember this. Oh, it's just so hard to tell. It's like I remember bits and pieces, but I don't remember the context of those bits and pieces. Did I see them here or somewhere else? Because that's also a possibility, because remember, so many of these liminal space maps are drawing from the same source material. They come away with a very different feeling, but when I saw this, what I was thinking wasn't this, I was thinking of growing map. I do remember this, though. I remember the space, but I don't know if that happened before. Oh, 
Oh, yes. These are the kind of things that make you really wonder what our dreams are doing. The idea of dream interpretation is that your brain kind of takes your fears and anxieties and desires and all that and sort of takes things that it associates with those things and makes something out of it. But sometimes there's things like this that either seem like a, a random collection of your psychological assets, I guess. But sometimes those random collections can make you wonder, is it actually trying to assemble something meaningful? And if so, what? A space like this evokes images of either a child's play place or, alternatively, a gerbil petting zoo. Which, I suppose when you get right down to it, there's not really that much of a difference in the desired architectural needs. Was this here before? Yeah, 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 this is what led to something I reached in the very end of the last video, but I'm not gonna go down that way, uh, because I know for a fact uh, that there's copyrighted music down that way, yo. I just bumped into my bed, felt a sleeve hanging on the bedpost, Miniature heart attack, right here. So that's the state I'm in right now. And if I'm right about you... If I'm right about you... You connect to the red room, right? There we are. Now, oddly enough, this I remember. <laughs> what about this was such a traumatizing image that it's stuck in my mind? Although I could be thinking- I think we saw a similar thing on Void Space. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. That may be a familiar spot, but it's been expanded because we- Yes! Well, that was a blood-curdling sound. We are at the top of the nuclear silo. I don't know what to do with that information, we just are. Bit of a maze, but I have a feeling it all goes back to the same place. Yeah, there's not much to do with this. Now, where did this lead again? I don't think we could go through there, but we could go through here. Right? Yeah. I didn't like that sound. Story of my life, huh? It was like there was some kind of, like, metallic grinding sound that stopped as I entered the room. <laughs> oh, 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 that didn't do that before! That didn't do that before! <sighs> Once again... Ugh. See, that's the thing, it's, 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 it's familiar, but it, it, there's so much different that it's almost like it's not. It, it's like it's wearing the skin of some place I know to lull me into a false sense of security. Thought that leaf was like a hand reaching around the corner for a second. Um... I'm gonna look around some more. I do remember this spot. This was here. And of course, that doesn't mean other things can't branch off of it, but I should still look around some, no? Certainly I should, because I don't remember this. We can cross.
crawl through there. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. No good. I like linearity. Linearity means I don't have to stress about ways that I haven't seen. Like a paintball arena? Or for some reason, it's making me think of a skate park. Although, as it currently stands, it'd be a really lame skate park. No, these are shower stalls. With no drains. This place would be a slippery lawsuit waiting to happen in no time. Ugh. Showers over a bench. Uh, benches and showers can be nice and all, but not in a public place. Although I suppose... <laughs> oh wow, is this like some kind of like judgment station? You shower right here while the Council of Elders decide? <laughs> oh, there's a thought. I think I just invented a new genre of something. an arcade. Wait, no, 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 no. What wasn't... I bet this goes out onto that courtyard. No. This is weird. It's like the entryway to a house, only... Only one where you can't leave. Almost like one of those dreams where you want to do something, but the most mundane things just keep getting in the way. Back into the arcade. Come on. Thought that was somebody standing there. Uh, uh, Jimbo, the boiler room's flooded. Let's get out of here. I, I don't like this room. It may be a small entryway, but this house opens up, doesn't it? Oh, GM Liminal Gallery has the Cult of the Watermelons. This one has the Cult of the Monitors. It's like a nightmare hodgepodge of different early 2000s house tropes. Oh no! I is this like the rapture? <laughs> the sky is blue screening! Huh. Feel like I'm being invited. Like there's some invisible, stern figure who wants me to come in and ask me about what I think of this whole experience. Although there being no one there. Sort of makes me think I haven't reached the end of my journey yet, but I haven't unlocked that part yet. Now there- see, that kind of feels like a representation of some kind of anxiety. Of course, waiting in the hall of a hospital is always an anxious activity. But it, here, it's like the discomfort is amplified by just having you be up to your feet in water. Now, this kind of feels like we've, after all of that, finally reached the rest of the house that would be connected to that entryway. Q 
Can we flick this switch? Nope, just a texture. Can't go through here either, even though there is another one of those white voids on the outside. You know what this feels like to me? This feels like watching other people's old home videos. You ever do that? Watch your grandparents or parents' home videos? These houses, maybe places that you've been to, but that look like they're from a completely different era. Maybe after they've been renovated, or maybe it's some place you never knew, but you're seeing people you knew at a different point in their life. This is back here. Wait, no. No, I haven't been here at all. I thought this was like that office off of the off of the subway station, but No, who am I kidding? Yeah, I have been here. This is the red forest. Oh, that is so cool. I I've actually noted this in a couple of other places. There are certain dreams that we get to experience from different perspectives at different points. I see what you're doing here. Oh, I love this. Some areas are able to see others, but it's a very long way between them, and so even if I hadn't played this map before, I would still get those moments of dream familiarity. Those times where you're in a dream and you think, I've seen this before. And the interesting thing about that in dreams is you may or may not have actually had a dream about the image you're seeing before. Now we still had to go this way, right? Oh, please put up a railing. Office break room is with half walls. See, I don't know what it is about half walls. They always make me feel so much more uncomfortable than just regular blind corners. I, I think maybe it has to do with the fact that I I'm not just looking around the sides, around the corners. There's also that factor of up and down, a little bit of verticality to the potential for jump scares. Wait, where is this? Have we seen this before? Oh no. There's like a maze of clothes with something behind it. Uh, hanging clothes. If you've ever been in a big walk-in closet, are like... a forest for horrible monstrosities to hide in. All contained within a little dark space, uh, speaking of. Imagine you woke up one morning to find your rear window looking out onto a dark, abandoned hallway. Imagine having to go about your business in full view of that dark, abandoned hallway. Or baby? Her, baby, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little unnerving seeing you here. And I hear what sounds like running water. I can't quite tell what direction it's coming from. Uh, horror baby? Come with me. Just got the worst feeling from behind me. Or baby, you didn't tell me your family was in town. Oh, is this your house? Oh. 
Okay, thank you, Overt Jump Scare, and thank you for introducing me to your family, Horror Baby. I'm gonna move on now. You can't pry me like this for like an hour and a half or however long I've been recording for. It feels like it's been forever. Well, at that point, the most minor of jump scares would do it. Hello, chandelier. I have no more time for anyone's sass. Please tell me we're about to get onto some place we've seen. No such luck. This is like the nightmare version of walking out of the movie theater after a long movie. We can maybe crawl through here? No, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Is that a ladder? A ladder, centered and framed, presenting itself to me. And very notably, does not go all the way down. Oops. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, these aren't even blind corners. They're little toothpick pillars, but they still block my visibility just enough that it feels like something could be hiding here. Uh, up and through. A children's play space just hidden away through a place you have to crouch through on one side and water on the other. You know what? I'm willing to bet this is what we saw from that other place, right? Oh, let me through. Uh, how far down do I have to crouch? Thank you. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be like crawling through one of those child tunnel play things. Like you'd see in a Chuck E. Cheese or an old McDonald's. And just as I always dreamed as a kid, coming out onto a hidden giant bounce room. Oop. Yes. This is the back of the cabin through the dead forest. Only. Actually, it seems like this is the end of the road. Oh, there's a ladder. Thank you. Ugh. Why is that pitched up like that? Ooh, there's a door here. Was this here before? I wouldn't even know. This is pretty hidden away. I'm just running around trying to figure out... If anything that I missed might connect onto stuff that I knew. This once again has the look of that, like, corporate entertainment area, like in an office building or something, but this... It's like being in a huge skyscraper looking off into the clouds, like the skyscraper itself is above them. If it weren't for the total emptiness of the stage, this would actually be kind of a cozy spot. I can see myself dozing off by the window. And then having the mother of all hypnic jerks as I fall asleep. Wow, imagine having that happen, knowing this was here. I think I've seen just about everywhere new there is to see. I'm just gonna hit a few of the highlights of the map for old time's sake. And to see if there's anything different. Ooh. Huh. From the thickness of the shadows, this actually wasn't as far down as one might expect. I, I wonder if this idea of dreaming about Abandoned stores late at night? Maybe comes from like a childhood fear of being left behind in one. 
Like, if you've gotten lost, you might have worried, Oh man, if I don't find my mom soon, I'm gonna have to spend the night in here in the dark. Yeah, all of this was here before, but nevertheless, I want to check it out. Actually, this doesn't look super familiar to me. Oh, that's deep. Oh, that's deep, and oh, and it's getting deeper, and it's, uh, and there's nothing there. I assume there's nothing there, right? There's got to be nothing there, right? Oh, n no. It actually does come out onto a little pocket, and then another little pocket. Oh, no. This is a gag. This is a gag designed to make me bend my knees as many times as it possibly can in as short a time span as it can. Oh, wait, and it comes out here. This forget I wrote this off. This actually did go somewhere. Which means that it must be new. So that was places you've seen in your dreams. Or nightmares and dreams, depending on whether you go by the workshop title or the map title. And once again, really, really cool, really, really creepy. It was already such a huge and diverse map, and uh, it's managed to make it even bigger and even more dreamlike. I find that some dreams just have this absolute weight to them, this crushing sense of hopelessness and doom that almost manifests as like a headache, something that you feel behind the eyes and can even remain present to some extent after waking. That's what all this feels like. It feels like being lost, endlessly wandering a void. That doom is approaching, you don't know what form it'll take or where it'll come from or when. Like you simultaneously have a lot of time to suffer and no time to do anything. I'm gonna get back to where I came from, to give my outro for real. Ah, uh, that side of the tunnel just brings me back to this one. Oh, like a nightmare treadmill. Wait. How do I get out of here? How actually do I get out of here? We can keep track of which side is which using that blue street light. Ah, there we go. I remember a lot of people saying they got jump scared by this area in the previous video, like that there's something here. I'm think. Found it. If I saw it the last time, I didn't remember it. Oh, that's even creepier. It happens when you approach this thing. Almost like your curiosity would be building as you look inside the tunnel and something from inside angrily disagrees with your presence. Uh. But, as I was saying... Oh, hang on, I, I, I gotta get to my comfort area. Safety bubble, safety bubble, safety bubble. Hide behind the couch like a small child. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to download this map for yourself, that link will also be in the description, along with my first playthrough. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Man, this is like running up the stairs after you get a snack at night. Doing so just makes you feel chased, and now looking at that corner just makes me think that any second now something's going to peer around.
Alright, little bonus feature at the end of the video. I've kind of started to make a habit of doing this for very large, maze-like maps. I just want to no-clip around and really show you the absolute scale of this place. So interesting, I think, to see not only how large it all is, but how it all connects. Because there are things that, like, you don't experience until, like, you're a million years apart from each other, and yet with the way things work out, you could find that one thing is right next to another. It seems like a lot of the new stuff is down here. It's almost unbelievable how much time someone must have spent putting all this together.